Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about HTTPS, topic of network security. Let's check the outline of this video. First topic is introduction of HTTPS, in which I have covered purpose of HTTPS. The next one is how does HTTPS works. The next one is what is the default port number of HTTPS. And the last one is is search engine use HTTP or HTTPS. Next topic is HTTPS connection. And the third topic is difference between HTTP and HTTPS. Before start this video, subscribe my channel. Follow my blog chirakbalodia.com. All the video materials are available in my blog. Let's start with the first topic, introduction of HTTPS. HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Next, what is HTTPS? HTTPS is one kind of protocol which is used for the communication between web browser and web server. HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP. So all the functionality of HTTP is included in the HTTPS. If you want to learn HTTP in detail, then click on the above i button. So here there is one question. What is the difference between HTTPS and HTTP? So this difference is covered in this video later on. Next, purpose of HTTPS. HTTPS provide the data confidentiality and data integrity during the communication. Data confidentiality means message should be known by only sender and receiver. So it means the privacy of message. And integrity means data should not be altered during the communication. Next, HTTPS encrypt URL, username, password and other sensitive information of user. Sensitive information means users credit card detail, debit card detail, bank detail, passport detail, PAN card numbers. So that kind of user's personal detail is called as sensitive information. Next, working of HTTPS. Let's take one scenario to understand the working of HTTPS. For example, there is one user. User want to communicate with the web server. Web server uses the secure HTTPS. So here combination of HTTP and the SSL certificate is called as HTTPS connection. SSL stands for secure socket layer. If you want to learn about SSL in detail, then click on the above I button. Here server uses the HTTPS. It means the connection is encrypted. So it means during the communication data is transferred from user to server and server to user that all data are in encrypted form using the HTTPS. Let's take one another example to understand the working of HTTPS. For example, user want to access a secure server. So user will enter its username and password into the browser. For example, the username is admin and the password is admin 007. So whenever user submit its username and password, it send it to the server in encrypted form. When username and password is sent from browser to server, it's look like in encrypted form. So no one can get the real username and password of the user. For HTTPS implement, one SSL certificate is added into the server side. So what is SSL certificate? SSL certificate is a piece of code which is configured with the server. So whenever HTTP is used with the TLS or SSL is called as HTTPS. Next, following elements are encrypted during the HTTPS communication. The first one is requested URL. The second one is content of the document. Third one is content of the browser forms which is filled by the user. And the fourth one is cookies sent from browser to server and from server to browser. If you want to learn about web cookies in detail then click on the above i button. And the last element is content of HTTP header. So these five elements are encrypted during the communication. Next, what is the default port number of HTTPS? Default port number of HTTPS is 443. Next, is search engine uses HTTP or HTTPS? Nowadays search engine uses HTTPS, but in some of the books like William Stelling in 5th edition and its previous edition, it shows search engine does not support HTTPS. Here are the few examples of search engine uses the HTTPS. The first one is Google. Now you can see over here, connection is secure. It means the Google uses the HTTPS. The next example is Bing. Bing is also used the HTTPS. And the another example of DuckDuckGo and Yandex. So now you can show that here both the search engine uses the HTTPS. So nowadays all secure website supports HTTPS. So this is all about introduction of HTTPS. If you have any query, you can ask me in comment section. Next topic is HTTPS connection. HTTPS connection is executed in three phases. The first one is connection initiation. 
the second one is data transfer and the third one is connection closure so let's take one scenario to understand these three phases in detail let's start with the first phase connection initiation for example there is one client and there is one server client want to communicate with the server so before communication client will establish a connection between the client and server here server supports https so it means https uses the tls handshake for initiate a connection so in this phase client will send a hello request to the server server will receive and accept that request and share its digital certificate with client when client will receive the digital certificate of server then client will verify that certificate with certification authority when certificate is verified client generate a secret key and share with the server using the secret key client and server both are authenticate with each other and also decide the encryption algorithm and its parameter this algorithm is used during the communication for data encryption after that last message of this phase is end handshaking so this phase is called as connection initiation between server and client but here we need to clear that there are three levels of connection in https the first one is at the http level an http client request a connection to an http server by sending a request to the next lowest layer we all know that here next lowest layer is tcp but it also may be tls or ssl because tls or ssl is line between the application layer and the transport layer next one is at the level of tls in tls a session is established between a tls client and tls server so based on tls this session can support one or more connection at any time and the third one is at the level of tcp tls request to establish a connection begins with the establishment of tcp connection between the tcp entity on the client side and the tcp entity on the server side so these are three levels of connection in https next phase is data transfer when tls handshake has finished client initiate a http request for data transfer in data transfer phase all http data is to be sent as tls application data because https is used the tls or ssl certificate so here all the data which is transferred between the client and server that all are in encrypted form also we can say normal http behavior including retain connection and should be followed so in this diagram this phase is called as data transfer next phase is connection closure connection closure should be done by three levels first one is http level in this level an http client or server can indicate the closing of connection by including connection close line in http record so it indicates that the connection will be closed after this record is delivered next one is tls level the closure of an https connection requires that tls close the connection with tls entity at remote side so at the tls level the proper way to close a connection is for each side to use the tls alert protocol to send a close notify alert either server or client side and the last one is tcp level tcp connection is terminated without a prior close notify alert and without a connection close indicator so in such a situation could be due to a programming error on the server or a communication error that causes the tcp connection drop so it means unannounced tcp closure could be evidence of some sort of attack so https client should issue some sort of security warning when this kind of scenario is occurs so this is all about https connection if you have any query you can ask me in comment section next topic is http versus https here http and https compare using different parameters first parameter is acronyms http stands for hypertext transfer protocol and https it stands for secure hypertext transfer protocol also you can say hypertext transfer protocol secure next parameter is port number default port number of http is 80 and https default port number is 443 next parameter is url in http url is start with http colon double slash and in https url is start with https colon double slash next parameter is security http does not provide the security so http is unsecure https provide the security in https achieve data confidentiality and data integrity during the communication next parameter is encryption http does not support encryption 
because http does not provide the security so no security algorithm is used during the communication https support the encryption so it means during the communication data is encrypted between server and client so here encryption algorithm is decided by the client and server during the handshaking process next parameter is ssl certificate http is not used ssl certificate because it is unsecure in https ssl certificate is included at the server side because https provide the security so as per the definition of https we can say http plus ssl certificate is equal to https so now we can say https is secure version of http next parameter is speed http is faster than https because there is no encryption process is take place during the communication https is slower than http due to encryption process next parameter is protocol layer http is application layer protocol so http is execute at the application layer https uses the http and ssl so here http is the application layer protocol and ssl or tls is the transport layer protocol so https is execute at the application and transport layer so these are the basic difference of http and https if you have any query you can join my telegram group chirag balodia link is given in description follow my blog chiragbalodia.com all the video materials are available on my blog if you like this video please hit the like button and share with others don't forget to subscribe my channel follow me on social media all the links are given in description thank you for watching this video